<laughs> we get. Oh, I'm in neutral. <laughs> I'm still in neutral. Come on. Oh my god, that was the most embarrassing thing ever. What's up, guys? Welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to a very exciting video. This is day two of being back in the UK. And seeing as I'm without a car, I had a very nice and very welcoming phone call from Ferragini, who invited me down to drive their Novitec Torado Aventador Roadster. Now, this car behind me is one of the highest spec Novitec cars ever to grace any road in the world. They've actually talked me through all of the stuff that they've done about three times so that I can remember it. So hopefully I've got it all up here and I'm gonna take you through what they have done um, and what they're still going to do. So let's start with the front where you can see we have gone full carbon. This is the Novitec front bumper. And as you can see, look around, not only has it been PPF'd, but every single join is absolutely perfect. And one thing that a lot of Aventadors don't actually go for with the Novitec kit is these. These are the nostrils on the Novitec front bonnet. And uh, if you check these out, at some angles, you could probably lose the lines, but in others, it just adds to the aggression on the front end. And when it's coming towards you, you know that this car is not stock. Working our way around the front of the car, you can see the Dion wheels there with the yellow brake calipers. As we move down, you will probably be familiar with these side skirts because these are the same side skirts that were on Yanimize's Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. And the awesome thing with what Ferragini have been able to do, they've got their own carbon fiber weave kick plates here, which is completely custom. The entire interior is custom, which we will get onto. This little bit here is painted in black piano. This is black piano. The roof is black piano. Usually that comes in satin black and most people tend to wrap it. The owner did not want the sort of vinyl finish. So uh, as you can see, the reflection is absolutely perfect and then round here something that you might also miss are these I call these the engine bay nostrils similar to the front nostrils they just give that extra bit of aggression and extra lines that you may not see on a standard Aventador Roadster or even a Novitec Torado Roadster leading on to that insane spoiler that sits on the rear around the back of the car you can see this absolutely <laughs> A massive but stunning wing. This for me is the best shape aftermarket wing that you can get uh, and as you may have been able to tell Novitec is my favorite tuner for the Lamborghini Aventador. If you look down here at the rear diffuser so many different lines and they are all razor sharp to go with the rest of the body styling of the Lamborghini Aventador. I think if I touch that I'll probably cut myself. It is incredibly sharp but also very very detailed and as we work our way around the back you can see the four exhaust pipes that sit right here. That, unfortunately, means that it is still standard. It has got the Lamborghini Sports exhaust system. But this car will be getting the full Novitec exhaust system once it is ready from Novitec. So uh, we're still waiting for that. I will reveal more when we jump in this car and go for a bit of a drive. But check this out. This car is seriously aggressive, looks absolutely stunning, and the work does not stop here. As we move into the interior, you may be able to point out that these are carbon fiber windscreen wipers, which is uh, very different. But as you go in, again, you are greeted with a bunch of carbon fiber there. We have got carbon fiber door handles here. We have got carbon fiber switches there, which is incredibly rare. We've got a carbon fiber steering wheel, carbon fiber center console, and Alex is back. Before we jump in the car and go for a bit of a blast, there is one thing that I need to show you. And you may be able to tell with the engine bay up uh, that we're going in there. And you're right, we are. There is a saying in the car community that you can never have too much carbon fiber. And I think that's exactly what the owner has done with the engine bay. This is the completely custom carbon fiber. I can't stop smiling when I look at this because it is totally ridiculous. So we've got the Novitec spoiler here. And as you move into the engine bay, there is carbon fiber everywhere. This is completely custom to Ferragini and they have done this all by themselves. We've got the struts over the V12 engine bay there, which come as standard in the Aventador SV, but in this car, it is totally, totally custom. So we've got carbon in the interior. We've got carbon everywhere on the exterior. And now in the engine bay, 
there is an insane carbon weave all over it is totally totally stunning even if i zoom in you will still get carbon fiber this is what you call carbon fiber porn <laughs> jeans even more which is uh, quite the norm to getting into a Lamborghini right ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Novitec Torado Aventador Roadster one of the highest spec cars ever to be created that has all of the Novitec bits to it as I've just gone over there is a lot of custom bits interior and exterior that Ferragini have meticulously engineered to make this car one of the coolest Lamborghinis on the UK road and they've been kind enough to lend me the keys today so we're gonna go for a quick drive I'm gonna understand what the Aventador is like to drive a little bit more in depth than I have done in the past this being the Roadster we can take the roof off but it being around one or two degrees here in the UK I don't really want to so we're gonna keep the roof on but that does not mean that we're not gonna be able to hear the V12 engine that sits right behind me. Now, as I've already said, this car is going to get even better still with the Novitec pipes that are scheduled to arrive around March 2017 for this car. They are so popular that Novitec just obviously can't make them enough. Ferragini have had this exhaust system on order for quite a long time now, and it is something that I am eagerly anticipating. <laughs> So from the outside, this car looks totally unique. I've never seen a car that has gone into this much effort to make an Aventador stand out. The modifications have not only gone to the next level with things like the nostrils on the bonnet, or even, I don't even know whether you call them carbon fiber nostrils that sit just behind the roof. Um, it just makes the car look so much more aggressive. And one thing, that Lamborghinis need to look is aggressive and by no means does the standard Aventador not look aggressive but with the Novitec Torado kit I have always openly said it is my favorite aftermarket kit it is my favorite aftermarket customizer Novitec always do an incredible job whatever they're working on they just take it to the next level and the crazy thing Having spent a couple of hours down at Ferragini and being talked through all of the different processes that they've taken, with all of these buttons here, the entire interior has been completely transformed. They've engineered everything to a new level that I've never seen from any modified car in general. I've seen some pretty badly modified cars. I have seen a certain Merchelago that genuinely had grills Velcro together. I suppose we've had a bit in Strada. Check the exhaust difference out when you put it in sport. <laughs> we get, oh, I'm in neutral. <laughs> I'm still in neutral, come on. Oh my God, that was the most embarrassing thing ever. Just sitting at the lights, revving the car. Oh my God. Oh, well, anyway, you got to hear what the exhaust sounded like. So this is the Lamborghini sports exhaust. Then when you get low enough, it begins to crackle. Oh, uh, hopefully you can hear that. But when it's in sports exhaust, the gearbox obviously becomes that little bit sharper. Everything becomes a little bit stiffer. And most importantly, the valves on the exhaust system open, which means you get to hear the V12 and there is no sound <laughs> like a Lamborghini V12. I personally think it is my favorite exhaust tone of any car. Oh, and I'm short shifting because this car's got 700 brake horsepower. The only way that you can really unleash the full potential of this car is on a racetrack. And unfortunately, we don't have access to a racetrack, but we do have access to lower gears. Oh! And then when you downshift and you're slowing down, 
This car is absolutely incredible. And sadly, we are making our way back to Ferragini now. But that doesn't stop me from wanting to just put my foot down a little bit more. And wow, we're now putting nose lift up because I do not want to ruin the carbon fiber front splitter, side skirts, or rear diffuser. This car's got so much carbon fiber. To be honest, I've never seen a Lamborghini with this much carbon fiber. So ladies and gentlemen, sadly, we've come to the end of the first video of the Novitech Torado. We have still got a couple more videos following the project, following the exhaust system. So definitely stay tuned because I'm hopefully gonna be driving this car with a full Novitech exhaust system. I've never experienced a car that I don't think is as loud as a Novitech Aventador from the inside. So I'm seriously excited. This is a bit of a teaser. This is just to get myself to grips with a Novitech Torado, with what Ferragini have been able to produce with this car. And I have to say, it is a serious, serious bit of kit. And like, I'm not just saying this because I'm driving the car from Ferragini. This is the best modified Lamborghini I've ever seen in terms of the quality of the finish. And of course, because I love Novitech. So, that's just sick. It's so cool. So please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you very soon on Supercars of London. These speed bumps suck. <laughs> this car's very low and it's got too much carbon fiber. It's a good thing.